Welcome everyone to another news update for the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game. Welcome back to Middle Earth Gaming and uh, we have a tease. We have a very small image uh, of a horse head and it means we're going to break it down. We're going to go through everything uh, because that's what we do, isn't it? That's, that's what we hobbyists do. We have to break down every single little thing um, and uh, see what it could mean for the future of our game. So that's what I'll be doing in this video. I'm going to be giving my own thoughts and opinions on it and uh, let me know what your thoughts and opinions about it in the comment section below. If you've been living under a rock, there is an image that has uh, surfaced over the last uh, couple of days. I think it came out last week at some point. Current rec recording this on Tuesday. Apologies this video is going out so late, um, but I've been quite busy unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, so it came out on Friday, I believe, Thursday or Friday, um, depending where you are in the world. And uh, yeah, this this uh, this image came out on the Warhammer community. Actually, uh, it was at the end of a post about the uh, Middle Earth uh, Grand Tournament that happened uh, last month in uh, in February. Um, and we had a little bit of a tease at the end. Now, uh, this has already uh, sparked up numerous conversations. I was actually the first one to post it in the uh, GBHL, in the Great British Hobby League. So um, I got to see all the comments. So uh, there was a lot, I think it was like over 100 comments on that post. So um, that was pretty cool just to see everyone's you know opinions, getting excited, um, and just to see everyone's views and opinions on what this could be. It was very exciting, uh, you know, it, very interesting, exciting going through all the comments because obviously I, I posted it, so I got all, like every, every time someone commented, I got a ping. Um, so just reading through all those comments was very, very cool indeed. Um, to, see, to see what people uh, thought it was going to be. Um, now I do have my own thoughts and opinions on it. Um, obviously um, there's a few like rumors, speculation, more, more speculations because Rumors, rumors, they're lies until GW proves them, as uh, um, as people say. Um, and you know, it's it's funny that you know we get so we've been getting so little recently as a community for the uh, for Middle Earth that uh, you know something small like this you know gives us hope because um, we know that there's a new supplement coming out this year. We know this is coming out. Um, because of the uh, post that they posted, uh, the post that they posted, is, does that even make sense? I don't even know. Uh, but the post that they uh, put up on uh, at, the, at the end of January, like looking into the future of the game. Like we've got our Made to Order coming out, we have the uh, Quest to Mount Doom game coming out as well. And they did confirm that there is a new uh, supplement coming out this year. They also uh, said that there are um, new profiles and new models coming out this year as well. And this is one of those new models. So um, it, sh it should be, I should, you know, sh should be up in the background uh, so you guys can see if you got for yourselves if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's interesting because uh, it, it's just a horse head. It's like, and like I said, people have gone to town on what this could be. Um, so I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on what it could be. I'm um, starting from the uh, from the least likely, I think, um, is where we'll start. Um, people are thinking uh, Armored uh, or Aragorn. Elisa, you know King Aragorn. Um, I don't think it's it's King Aragorn. Um, it's very. I can see why people think it could be. Um, the stars on the uh, on the horse head uh, is very similar to Gondorian, Arnorian, Numenorian. That's what I think. That, I think that's where most likely this is going to go to. There's also um, if we dive into Tolkien, there is a Elvish um, one, one of these symbols, like a six to eight point star for Elvish heraldry is for a king. So people are also going for Gilgalad, possibly, a Gilgalad uh, mounted. Um, but in my opinion, I don't think they're going to touch the last lines. I know we've, we've all heard that they've, uh, you know, the, the GW have, uh, you know, been in contact with Amazon. You know, they have talked about people, uh, you know, talked about the Rings of Power. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Um, but I don't believe that if, if even if they did, um, if even if they did do Rings of Power, or even if they didn't, I don't think there's any point of doing that at the moment. I, I honestly believe that, and we're going off, we're going way off topic now already. That the Elrond and the Herald of Gilgalad, like the the Elven banner that we got uh, almost two years ago now, it was like a year and a half ago, back in 2022. Um, that was the that was the start of a last alliance swing um, that we were going to get before the Amazon TV show got announced. Because I I think. Memory serves, I'm pretty sure the Amazon TV show got announced in like 2018, 2019 and uh, there were rumours that there was a Last Alliance supplement uh, in the works at that point but now that Rings of Power got announced uh, that that got scrapped and you know Elrond and all that 
again, this is just, you know, rumors, it, all lies, you know, and I don't think we're ever going to know if that actually did happen. Um, but uh, yeah, I think, I think it was interesting, you know, just, I think that's a good point to bring up. Um, so yeah, I think, uh, you know, and obviously the banner um, has very similar stars to what uh, this horse has. So I think that's why people are going for like a Gilgalad kind of option. And I could see it, but I also see that even if, even if, if they do have the license, if, if they are going to get the license at some point, there's no point of bringing a Gilgalad out now when the last Alliance bat battle um, won't be happening for a few years. There's no point of bringing a model out now that, you know, will replace the model now that's not going to look like the show. If, do you, I don't know if you, if you, know, you guys know what I, what I mean by that, but there's obviously the Gilgalad in the, in the game and the Gilgalad on the show, they're slightly different. I think you could probably get away with it, but I think they would have to sculpt a new Gilgalad if they got the license. So there's no point of bringing one out now when we don't know what he's going to look like in the last lines in the show. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't think they're going to touch the last lines. Even if they don't even have the license, even if they're not going to get the license, I don't think there's any point touching it at the moment. I, th I do think we will get a last line supplement, but I don't think we're going to get it anytime soon. I think it's still probably a few years away. Um, like I said, I think it was very... I think we were going to get it. I think we would have had it by now if Rings of Power didn't happen. If, if Rings of Power has, ha hadn't been out, I think we would have got a last line supplement already. That's just, just my opinions um, and my, uh, my thoughts. So... I don't think it's got anything to do with Last Alliance, so I would say scrap Gilgalad, scrap Elrond, scrap King Elisa. Um, unfortunately, I would love to see a new King Elisa. Um, you know, it's definitely one on foot. I think the one on horse is alright. I just don't enjoy the one on foot too much. Um, you know, it, you know, it, they could. The only reason I say this is because watching the films, seeing all the models that have come previously, I don't. It, it just doesn't. The horse, it doesn't look similar doesn't look similar to Brago at all in the films that uh, that Aragorn rides completely different head crest um, and you know it, it, again it could be a Gilgalad it could be it's definitely not Elrond because we just got a new Elrond but it could be a Gilgalad like I said the eight the six to eight pointed star is a heraldry for elven kings um, in Tolkien so you know, it definitely could be an army Gilgalad but I just don't see them doing that so one percent chance there's probably a Gilgalad if we move on from that, um, we go on to Numenor. So, you know, people are saying, you know, it could be a mounted Elendil. Again, the same reason. It could be it could be Elendil. Um, but again, I just don't see it happening because of the last alliance. I don't see them touching the last alliance for at least a few years. So I just don't see them bringing out a mounted Elendil when they might have to, you know, if they do get the license at some point. You know, I know people are very pessimistic and... You know, they don't want them to have Rings of Power models, but, you know, it's going to... If we do have Rings of Power models, it's going to accelerate the game. It's going to push people who have watched Rings of Power, who enjoy it, because people do enjoy it. Like, I, I enjoyed Rings of Power, and this is not going to be a Rings of Power discussion, guys, so don't worry about that. But, you know, people who have watched Rings of Power then will see this and get into the game, and more people will enjoy the game. You know, people will buy more models. GW will see that. They'll invest more into the game. It's a win-win for... Um, for our game, essentially. You know, if you don't like the Rings of Power, you know, that's fine, you know, don't, don't bother models, it, it's all good. Um, but that, that's just my views and opinions as well. I'm probably going to get slaughtered in the comment section right now. Um, but yeah, again, like I said before, I just don't see them touching the last line, so I don't think Ellen Dill's a part of it. I know people, some, some people are saying Anarion, that would be very cool, because I know he's been very, again, this is the point uh, where I think we would have got last line supplements already. Because Anarion is mentioned in Armies of Lord of the Rings. He's in the Numenor supplement. Uh, in, sorry, in the Numenor army list. Um, he's mentioned in there. So, either, like I said, I think he's he would have already been... I think we already would have gotten an, an Anarion um, if, uh, if Rings of Power hadn't come out. Um, so, if we move on from that, um, we go into the more likely candidates. And the one, I think I'm going to say my most likely candidate, and I think 95% Again, my views and opinions are only. My 95% convinced that the next supplement will be the Fall of Arnor. I've said this for quite a few months now, um, ever since... I've actually thought about this, honestly, um, ever since we got the new Plastic Witch King on foot and on mounted. And I know that this was probably 
got to do, it came out with the fall of the Necromancer supplement. Um, and, you know, that was around the time, it was about six months before Defense of the North came out. So, and it was like about a year after um, Quest of the Ringbearer came out. So, and I know he's a plastic miniature, and I know he was probably to go with the old Pelletal Field starter set. You know, it was one of those other plastic things, you know, you get the starter set, you get the Witch King, you know, it, it makes sense. Um, but we also got out of the blue was a Glorfindel, and he, he had no reason to come out at that point. Why would you have a armor Glorfindel when we already had one? Um, and it was a fantastic re-sculpt, a fantastic re-sculpt. And Glorfindel is quite important, if you know your uh, Middle Earth history, um, he is quite important in the Arnor area. He makes the prophecy about the Witch King. So I honestly believe that no matter what happened during 2023 and you know, why, why we got delayed so much and you know, why it's, nothing's come out until now, I think that the next supplement was supposed to be the Fall of Arnold, and I think it's been pushed back for some unknown reason, the licensing, whatever it could be. Um, you know, I don't think we'll ever find out, to be honest. I don't think, you know, GW don't really go into that kind of stuff, so I don't think we'll actually ever know. Um, but in my opinion, I think the Fall of Arnor was the next thing supposed to come out, because uh, Defense of the North came out around May time in 2022, and I'm pretty sure Glorfindel came out about six months after, but maybe, maybe not too, too much longer, longer after that. But I remember um, getting Glorfindel and painting him up straight away because he looks so awesome. I know everyone's, you know, he's very unanimously a very, um, a very good model in, in, the, in the SBG community. So him coming out out of the blue makes no sense whatsoever unless you're going to have a supplement um, to make him, you know... To, for him to feature in, I guess, because like I said, he is a big part, especially at the end of the fall of uh, at the fall of Angmar, I should say at that point. Spoilers, um, that he that he'll be he'll definitely be a part of a fall of Arnold supplement at some point, um, especially with the uh, when, at the end like with the fall of Angmar and that kind of stuff. So I definitely think that getting back to the horse head, getting back to this uh, to this tease, I ninety five percent convinced that this is something to do with Arnold. Um, now, again, this could be a many number of things. It could be an Arnold hero, it could be a new hero, because we know that Arnold was a United Kingdom at one point, you know, with Elendil running. So, maybe it could be Elendil for, for, for Arnold, because uh, Elendil did uh, run Arnold at that point. But then it got split into three different factions. It got split into Ruda, um, Car. I always, I always forget the other, the other two. Um, but it was split into three kingdoms with three different, um, you know, lords or kings, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I definitely think a you could flesh out Arnor. I don't think they're going to go the three kingdom ki kingdom ways, but um, you know, we all obviously at the moment we have Arvadui because so it could be a mounted Arvadui. I don't think it could. I, at this point, I think it's Arnorian. I just don't know what it could be an Arnorian wise. Um, I definitely think we'll probably get a new hero for Arnor if it does turn out to be Arnor. Um, metal, we have metal Arnorian troops. Are we going to see them being pushed over to resin um, instead of you know they could again they, like usually what GW would do at this point is to bring them back out in metal, um, but to bring out a whole range that has just previously been in metal, I think we're probably going to get some resculpts of Arnorian troops. Um, Again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section about that. Would, would, if Arnold does come out, would you prefer the old troops to come out, or would you prefer the, for them to be re-sculpted from resin? I know everyone wants plastic troops. I just don't think it's going to happen for Arnold. I really don't think it's going to happen for Arnold. And I think if it, they're a very, I've always wanted to do, to do an Arnold army, but I don't think that they are the first choice for plastic troops. Um, I think if it was going to be for anyone, it would probably be one of the main factions, like the Elves or Mordor or, you know, something like that. Um, I think that they would be the ones to get plastic troops, first of all. I don't think it would be Arnold. Um, again, on the flip side of that, we have Angmar. That could be fleshed out multiple ways as well. Um, if you guys ever played the uh, Battle for Middle-earth 2 Rise of the Witch King campaign, um, that's basically the fall of Arnold in that campaign. Um, so you could definitely do some stuff from that. Um, you know, there's a, there's a lot to flesh out for both sides, and 
you know, it's a very cool, they, obviously we have the Rune of Arnold su um, supplement already out, um, that came out in about 2006, I want to say, something around that time. Um, so yeah, we, you know, and I think that's what we, if, if that is the next supplement, if the Fall of Arnold is the next supplement, I think that's a really good way to um, base around what we could see. Um, and, you know, it's a very cool theatre of war as well. Um, but I'm, I'm rambling on now. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, just me rambling. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions about it in the comment section below. I know there's a lot, like I said, a lot of uh, theories going around at the moment what it could be. That's, this is just what my opinions are. Again, it, these are my own views and opinions and do not represent uh, the, the thoughts of the channel uh, or GW. <laughs> uh, I know that, I know that uh, on the plans here, Tom and Damien used to do that, and I think I completely messed that up. But anyway, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, again, these were all my own views and opinions, guys. I would love to know your own opinions in the comments section below. Um, do you agree with me? Do you not? What do you guys think is coming out? Would love to hear from you guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.